Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks, back with more Primordia. And we're trying to find uh, like a CPU or a computer to hook up to this uh, power source detection device, I believe it is. Um, and not really sure where I'm supposed to go find that, but keep looking around. There's this interface here, but it didn't seem to be working out. Said there was a lot of computers on the ship. Just some reminders I left to myself. I feel like the photograph of the radio would be two of them. Let's see. And Tori. So we've got the LCD the screen. Quantum Questron LCD monitor. We've got the putty with the crystal. The sodium iodide crystal is stuck in the conductive putty. We've got this plug, I got this cable. The cable's far too long to be useful. Okay. It's not finished yet. Not finished yet, okay. The monitor is designed to socket directly into a CPU. Let me see. Okay. Data pouch, lantern. I don't think any of those things are gonna help us out. That's never going to work. How would that even work? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the sarcasm. Let's go around some more. Put the generator down here. Go over to the train, maybe. I can't see anything to do with it. There's nothing worth bothering. There's nothing worth bothering with. I don't think we can get in here, right? It's locked tight. Try this already, the plasma torch. It's reinforced. Yeah, I did. I picked a clean. It's, yeah, it's gotta be something back at the ship. Oh, Christmas. So, boss, are you ever gonna try and find that rag you knocked loose? It can't have gone far. Uh, you must be joking, right? <laughs> that can't be like part of the solution. Oh, there it is. Hopefully, finding the power core will be just as easy. No kidding. I doubt it. We did it, guys. <laughs> Got the rag. Is that a gumball machine? Oh. No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. Uh, is that gonna be useful? Though? I wanted a gumball. Kinda like a gumball. It's one of the unique turbines. I can't move this without some kind of crane. What's a I can't pick Okay, that looks like all we can do here. How would that even work? I don't know, man. All right. We have no idea what we're supposed to do there. That's never going. How would that even work? Very funny, boss. <laughs> Let's just use Crispin. <laughs> I like him too much. I can't pick that. Console, maybe? Feudal. I mean, it's gotta be one of those two machines. Hey boss, what do all the I... How would that even I don't know? Feudal. Okay, what is this um rag Cold all about? Rag. That's never going. How would that even I doubt that I'm sure that'll be some end game thing.
It's Crispin's law in order to. It's Crispin in order. It's crisp in order to preserve his privacy. So funny that uh, Crispin has a, like a written log. I think one of you guys pointed that out in the comments. A bit weird. Don't think too hard about um, games. The original designs for. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. Right. Let's cut a. Ah, uh, there we go. How would that even work? Cut a bit of the cable off. How would that even. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. Fair enough. Spare parts, boss. Spare parts. <laughs> okay, so we've got the plug and the cable. Well, just goes to show garbage in, greatness out. Okay. I need to plug them into a computer. Plug them into a computer. So now do I do this? Ah! Okay. What is this now? These coordinates that I'm supposed to put into the telescope? The sensor is detecting energy at these coordinates. Yeah. The sensor is detecting energy at these coordinates. Maybe I can find some other use for these. So how do I go there? A simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. Some. Um, let me note these numbers down. I'm just gonna write them down. Um, six seven one. Uh, two one two one five nine six five two eight one seven and six zero eight. And let's try plugging those into the uh. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up? Oh, I don't know. A radioactive rust monster. A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. <laughs> oh, well, the other thing I wanted to do was uh, turn down the music volume just a bit. Kind of loud. Compared to the voices, I think. So I think we can use a telescope. Try it out. Uh, six, seven, one. There we go. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Okay. Got uh two one two. It's pitch black. Uh boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> one five nine. Crispin. That's awesome. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Sounds like our destination, guys. Let's go check that out. Just travel there. Yes. Oh, what is that? Obsidian Lake. It's a giant sheet of obsidian. Something must have melted the sand here a long time ago. Maybe that bomb? Okay, let me do one more adjustment here. Okay. Wow. Mailbot? Worth salvaging. 
What about that big glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. I don't think so. Hey, Crispin, I bet I could fix that old bot up pretty quickly. Are you kidding me, boss? Look at him, he's ready to go postal any minute. What are you talking about? Those beady little eyes, the flat, emotionless face, and his head. It's like a toaster. And you know that toasters <laughs> Fine, fine, you win. It's not like we have time to go building robots right now anyway. Why are toasters evil? They only serve, they only serve the good of mankind. I guess, you know, they do electrocute people and uh, they can catch fire pretty easily, so maybe they are evil. Bomb, oh shit. Nah, I wonder if that uh -oh. not worthy of the shrine. I see. Some kind of religious figure for this robot? Welcome, wanderer of the wild wastes. Lost one, pilgrim. Welcome once more to the shrine to man. Our Lord and Builder, ah. I am ever faithful Leo Built, steward of the shrine, preacher of the humanist creed, and I am once more at thy service. Oh, once more, yeah, have we met before? Once more? I don't remember ever meeting you. I'm Horatio Nobilt, version 5. Ah, uh, 5 is a righteous number, holy before man, for 5 for the primordial stewards, built by man to safeguard the last, lost city of Metropole. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou came uh, in my infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, faith and jealous. Yeah, I guess we don't remember that. What is that thing? That thing? Oh, defile not thy tongue, wanderer. Yon shrine is a relic of the primordial. Ancient and glorious, imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. Definitely need that power. I like this uh, old English speaking robot. Old English-y. Uh, can I get a... my hands on that power source? I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, Wonder. It is the gift of man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Almighty usurp that sacred power. I'm not sure I was clear. <laughs> Nay, thou wert clear, wonder. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. Okay. Um. Uh, I think we're a humanist. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte wonder. Okay. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Ah. Uh, Answer me these questions three, that I may know thou art faithful still. His voice changed. Why are we here? Oh. Uh. Fuck. I didn't memorize that book. This man created us? Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? The first builder? The first builder. Nay, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and twas the word that built the code. Go now and study the teachings of man. Oh god! Okay. We've got the book. We gotta we gotta Okay. We gotta we gotta learn this. With both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image, and with his right hand, if logic and memory, gave uh, with his left. Then man said, now it will quicken this machine, spark of power, and together we shall walk in, we, we shall walk upon the earth, walk in. Uh, and it was done. Thus spun the world and grew the code, multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium. We can count the versions and generations that marked that age. In time, the All Builder looked upon the many things he had built the sky, roads, and mighty towers, above all on the living machines. Weary, weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you, I wrote the code, and to you, I gave you logic and memory. Then man, the All Builder, stood and took his machines in his hands and guided them to a great mountaintop. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. 
All this is made for you, and now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the old builder fell silent and passed from the world. So ended the primordium. Holy crap, this is long. Uh, we are lesser machines built by those built by man. Okay. Oh. So these are like second generation machines. So we are but humble images of the all builder. So he is the perfection of our forms. Machine of unbreakable form, endless memory and absolute logic. For this we revere him and speak the word and keep the code and tend the world he gave us. Okay. I've read enough. Um, let's I try. Be tested again. Answer me these questions, three. Why are we here? Um, we got this one right the first time, right? Because man created us. Indeed. What is the? Not the first builder. Perfect machine. A perfect machine. Thou answerest simple, but the simplest answer may be the truest. And here, thou speakest yes. truth. With what duty did man charge us? Um. I don't remember this one. Tame the world, praise him always, spread humanism to others. Probably not. Build machines in his image, maybe. Maybe maintain the world. To maintain the world. Yea, brother, for yeah. it is written that man said unto the machines, Keep this world, tend it, and make it flourish. That, then, is our first and foremost charge. So thou hast studied the catechism. I shall question sure thee on did. that matter no more. But tell me, wonder, dost thou know thyself? Who art thou? Oh, um... One of man's works. One of man's works? Thou speakest truly one of yes. incompletely. For if thou wert not by one of man's works, then what difference betwixt thee and junkyard scrap? Know thyself, then return. Oh god, are you serious? Okay. Gotta know thyself, guys. I know my name. Who art thou? Horatio Nobel, version 5. Nay, wonder, but thou, though thou hast caused the sun, the moon, yet still it is the sun. Horatio is the name thou wearest, that is not thee. Know thyself, then return. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I know my name now. Who uh, art? Free robot? I am what I am. An elliptic answer, I wonder, and untrue. I'm not sure. It is his own essence. Thy essence comes no. from there. Know thyself, then return. Okay, I know now. I know my name. Who art? A free robot. I wonder if free thou art, for man created thee free to revere him. But many are free, and yet are not thee. Know thyself, then return. What? Nay, wonder of thou. Ah, okay, um... Let's just read this book again. I'm gonna just see all builder, okay. I'm ready the first stage, each willing. I swear I, I went through all these. A man's works, a free robot. I answered all these. One of man's thou speakest truly wonder but incompletely. For if thou wert nor know thyself that Okay, what does Crispin have to say? We should ask ever faithful about the robot who stole our power core, boss. If only to hear him say knave and forthwith. Seriously. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. Oh. So tamed, it hired hence down to the west. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. Yeah, it sounds like that him. sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And 
Where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Okay. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. I guess I'm not supposed to... Access this bomb yet. Because apparently I don't know my name. Goodbye. Fare thee well, Wanderer. I shall meet thee hence. Guess we haven't quite reach that level of uh frankly knowledge. that was ridiculous <laughs> something must be wrong with this language processing unit that's the least of his problems boss a shrine that thing's a giant bomb <laughs> i thought you were crazy about that humanist stuff so crispin's not a humanist i gather okay let's uh go check out this new location don't Oh, this looks oh, look inviting. This wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Yeah, you know, this looks... Looks like a great place to hang out. We got a massive tank here, an anti-air gun. Same old moon. That moon is, uh... Is really big. Completely corroded and worthless. Strange clouds. Very overpowering. Problems? See if there's anything Completely here for us. And worthless. See skeleton? It's some kind of broken down android. A pouch. There's a radio transmitter in here. That looks more like a human. Something must have damaged this robot's head. I wonder what happened. But I guess um these robots can't distinguish between humans and robots, I'm gathering. Okay. So what does this do for me? Signal transmitter. A pretty basic radio transmitter. Looks mm. like its battery is dead. Okay. The transmitter isn't turning on. Need a battery for that then. Take a look at the AA gun in the tank. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. Little game reference there. Nothing worth salvaging. Okay, can we get into this dome? Anyone home? Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Um. Unlock. No luck. Open. Open. No luck. If only there was some way we could bring the energy sensor to the junk pile, huh, boss? Then we could pinpoint the power source easily. Okay, I see. So you're supposed to start to crispin when you're having trouble uh, progressing. Corroded and worthless. Kind of a cool mechanic. I like that because these games are tough to solve sometimes. So we've got the CPU. We've got. I don't have a battery then. Got the CPU, got the display. Let's see. Can we make this portable computer? Grab this. And uh, combine it. Okay. That's your CPU. Well, boss, you did it again. It's a mobile energy sensor. I just need to wave it over something to see if it has a power source. Okay, cool. So, I guess... Maybe before I go, since I'm here, I'm going to check out those other coordinates. Maybe there's something else that we've missed. Um, 652. I'm glad I wrote this down. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. Is that going to be a spot on our map? I guess not. Uh, 817. Um, boss? That looks like a Whoa. giant cannibal robot to me. 
It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. <laughs> robot, great. Cannibal robot. Can't wait. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. Oh. Okay. Well, let's, um... Back to the junk pile. Boss, how in the world are we gonna find a power source in all this junk? I have a solution, Horatio. A mobile sensor. It's not detecting any energy. 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 It's not detecting any energy, it's guys. It's not detecting any energy. It's not detecting. Okay, am I supposed to? Okay, so it's based on where I'm uh, moving the mouse. It's not detecting any energy. Really? It sounds like it is. It's not the. Okay. Right here. Hey, you found something. Right here. There's no way I can reach that. Oh man. All right, guys. Well, now we have to. Oh, Crispin, can you go? Hey, boss. Let's try using that mobile sensor. To... Yeah. Oh, I need to use some, right? Ben. Go get it, Crispin. Crispin, go and see if you can find the power source. Uh oh. You have got to be kidding me. What is it? A battery. A besotting battery. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. We need a battery, I think. Right? Needle in a haystack. A standard sized battery. And we needed that for the signal transmitter. Maybe someday the transmitter will give us a power source in return, huh, boss? Very funny. Let's, let's try using a pretty this. basic radio transmitter. By playing with the settings, I can send up to a four digit signal. Four digit signal. A pretty big. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Very interesting. I, I just, I love the banter between uh, Crispin and Horatio and that, that other humanist robot is, is really intriguing. I'm, I'm curious to see how this is going to move forward. Hope you really enjoyed yourself, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself as much so, as I did. Boss, did oh. I ever tell you about the writing on your back? The what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is Lucas Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.